So this project is great for beginners and we have this pretty much on every beginners course that we do here. It's a flat based slab building project and a two dimensional effectively but slightly three dimensional. And here's a couple of beginners pieces. This one has uh, a sheet of clay on the back and then a single layer for most of it with uh, the flowers and a, a second layer in the middle of the flowers. And it's been painted with something called slips. Slips are coloured clay mixed with water and when you paint them on they stick to the original clay. So um, here's another one there. Somebody called Murphy left it behind. And uh, one that was just finished in the last week. You can see here uh, a picture and this one has been made from a single sheet of clay about a, a foot square and cut into three pieces at the end. Now what I'm going to show you is how to make a mirror surround and here is one that's waiting to be uh, joined. One of my students made it last term and she hasn't bought the mirror yet. I think that's important. If you buy the mirror up front you might find it's the wrong size. So I would suggest make the piece first, have a rough idea of the size you're looking for and then when you've got it finished like this then you can measure up for the mirror. And in this case the tiles would probably be mounted along the edge of the mirror like so and so that um, you need a little bit of gap between each tile. When you uh, stick the tiles onto a backing sheet, which would be some plywood, then you would um, grout in between them. And then you'd stick the piece of mirror in the middle and you would grout around the edge of it. Okay, so I made a slab earlier. Now, if you don't know how to use a slab, make a slab, then uh, you'll see that on the video that I made for sculpting. And uh, once you've rolled the slab, this is half a centimetre thick, uh, I'm going to cut it out as a single piece. You don't have to do that, you can cut it out as four strips, but it's easier as a single piece. And what I did for this one is I just used a nice piece of wood about the right width and I drew a straight line along the bottom like that on both sides. I just drew on the clay surface. You don't have to cut straight away. So this one has got a line drawn on it draw along here. The other thing I'm going to absolutely recommend you use is a set square. You can buy a set square in any art shop and it just ensures that you've done a decent job on the corners. And again the strip of wood for the width. And once you have it done, when you're cutting out, make sure you cut out using the ruler. So lay the ruler on the line and use your knife nice and vertically, nice and straight along. I should explain that this is a potter's knife. They're about three euro and they're sharpened on the diagonal side and they're very sharp on the tip and it's important that you have a decent knife. If you can't get a potter's knife then use maybe a little um, uh, craft knife. You'll find those in craft shops. So here is our background and you can see from this one that we can add things to the surface. I'm going to um, just show you some different techniques. I'm not going to do the design but uh, for instance if we take some of the spare clay which is left over as a strip of it we could um, bend that and we could stick that onto the surface there. I'm just going to do another one a little bit bigger like this. Now don't worry about the pieces, the tiles. We're going to make it as a single piece to start with. And here's another one going along here. So let's say that was part of our design. The other thing you can do is take some soft clay. This is the same clay that you used for the backing piece. And we're going to make a flower and this is a three-dimensional flower and the flower is going to go along here. So the first thing to do is to score the area where the flower is going to stick. Score in two directions like that and then use some clay and water to paint into the bit you've scored. So it's nice and mucky. Now taking a lump of clay I'm now going to create in this case a leaf and it's going to be three-dimensional. And it's going to be quite delicate because it doesn't have to go anywhere once it's stuck down. There we go. And that leaf could be quite three-dimensional. Okay, like that. And then we're going to stick that on, put it onto the wet bit and really push it down. And if you can, go behind the surface to stick that on. Okay, like that. And you'll come up with all sorts of ways. For instance, you can um, flatten a piece of clay, nice and thin, thinner than that. And when it's very thin, you can roll it up, but roll it quite loosely like that. So you have like the petals of a flower. Pinch the bottom of it, cut a piece off the bottom. So you've got a nice flat area on the bottom. 
score your backing sheet and put some slip on it and then you can stick the flower down like so. Now once you have everything made, if you've got pieces like this by the way you need to score and you've used the sort of fairly dry clay, just draw where it's going to go, score along that line so you know where it's going to stick, two directions, and then you're going to score also the edge of the piece that you're going to stick down. It's called score and slip and we do a lot of this in the pottery. There we go. Once you've scored that all the way down, plenty of slip on it, enough that it's literally going to squeeze out of the join and that's like glue. Okay, and then you're going to stick that down, make sure it's in the right place, push down nice and hard and that should not move once the piece is finished.